Saturday saw almost the complete away performance as the Robins won 2-0 at the International Stadium against uh, Gateshead. And we're talking to uh, Altrincham manager Phil Parkinson. Phil, um, it couldn't have gone much be much better on Saturday afternoon. I don't think so. We've, we've gone through it with the players about five minutes ago, just looking at how the game went for us. Uh, did we do as well as what we thought? There's, there's always areas for improvement, but I felt against the team that everyone are, 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 giving a, are getting a lot of plaudits at the moment for the, the way they're playing. Top goal scorers in the division, I think they are at the moment as well. Um, to, to reduce them to one attempt on goal that Ethan saved and the rest from outside the box, I think, is uh, full credit to the, the way the players applied themselves within the, the shape and the press that we decided to, to use against an informed Gateshead. It looked like there was a huge amount of uh, preparation has gone into to that game because of the different setup that we had to deploy against uh, Mike Williamson's side. No, it's the same amount of prep for every game. I, I know it looks that way because uh, we're, we're a different shape and different personnel have come in from, from a winning team, but it just shows how adaptable we've become in this division. And I think that's been really important for us. We, we, we were a team that played a shape that everyone probably would have told you before uh, we turn up now. I'm sure it's a lot more difficult for teams to, to plan against us, which has been a deliberate act. Um, but ultimately it shows how the teams evolved, the football clubs evolved, especially from part-time to full-time. Some key moments in the game. Ethan Ross's uh, save from Ed Francis in the first half. Uh, and then uh, Chris Con clark he's, uh, he's barged Regan Booty off it, which is a bit on Chris Con clark like And then he's done something that we know he can do superbly, which is thread a ball through. And it's inch perfect for Justin. Yeah, well, it was something we identified in terms of both midfielders for them like to have a lot of touches on the ball. So could our centre forward, be it Chris or Dior, back press? It's worked in that moment where they've been able, uh, sorry, Chris has been able to pinch uh, the ball from behind. Uh, and again, as you've alluded to there, bearing down on goal, it's nice to see that Chris can supply the bullets as well as finish them off. And I'm sure we'll all agree it was, a, it was an absolutely superb finish from Justin. Gateshead fans weren't very happy at the end and they'll see it as if they've had, they've had a bit of an off day, but that's because of the superb execution of our, of our pre-match plan. Yeah, I think the game plan really frustrated them, um, but I, I wouldn't by any means say that it was a one-sided game in terms of they had all the ball, all the attack. Uh, the stats suggest they had a, a more, more of the football than us, but they use their keeper a lot and if you add up all the the seconds that he has on the ball that that adds to their their possession stats but ultimately we they, we reduce them to long balls um forcing forcing the play a little bit in terms of as we said regan getting dispossessed there for, for our goal and i felt overall we thoroughly deserved the win I've got to say um the whole team functioned uh, superbly uh jake cooper magnificent at the back uh, snuffing out marcus uh, denanga and the, the two midfielders, Elliot Osborne and uh, Isaac Marriott, uh, superb throughout. Yeah, every single player. You don't get results like that away from home. Clean sheets. Uh, Ethan has obviously played a big part in that with his save. But ultimately, everybody's played their role perfectly. Everyone's stuck to their responsibilities. And we've, we've executed our game plan on the day and, and got, a, as I said, a thoroughly deserved result. So we're in the heady heights of uh, fourth position in the National uh, League. Uh, now and things are looking very very good it's clearly a very very good side but we don't want to get too excited there's a long 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 way to go no we've always said it haven't we in terms of we we know what we are in this division a developing team we're an improving team i'm sure at some point there'll be a drop off and i think at the moment if i'm a fan i'm really enjoying the time and the the, the football that this team's playing but ultimately, we, we've got to we've got to be there through the the hard times and the good times, and our fans have for us, and, and they'll know they'll know that that's only round the corner in terms of they're always going to have a difficult time in this division. But if we can maintain our consistency levels, then uh, you make your own luck, you ride you ride out the tough periods, and you turn it round quickly. And that's what we've done this time in terms of where we've had a couple of tough results. I think we spoke about it, Wheelstone being a little bit of a turning point where probably last couple of seasons that might have been a third defeat. Um, we were able to bounce back and from there we, we sort of found our feet again and we've kicked on. Five uh, 
straight victories in the National League, the first time since the mid-1990s. That's you must be very proud of that achievement. I am extremely proud, um, but ultimately we know if we lose the next couple of games, everyone will forget that very quickly. So it's something where we're really happy with how things are going. We've come in today, there's been a lot of preparation for tomorrow's game, for the recovery of the lads who were coming back from the Saturday game. So it, it's certainly not been, let's just enjoy this, this process, this time. We know hard work gets you them results and we've always worked hard here. So hopefully we, we can continue in that vein. So two uh, cup ties uh, this week, starting with uh, the Cheshire Senior Cup. First round uh, game against uh, 1874 Northwich. And uh, we're going to have a, a very particular setup for that game. We are, yeah. We, we're going to change things up a little bit in terms of um, it's really important here that we have a, a succession plan, so to speak, and making sure everyone's getting the appropriate continued professional development. So ultimately, you look at. Um, Ross Bay, Danny Jarrett, a Paul Fay in there as well, doing brilliant jobs at the uh, well first team, reserve team, youth team levels. And we feel it's a real good opportunity for them to sort of step up in roles and experience a first team fixture. Me and Neil will certainly be there and uh, supporting in the background and observing our players that need observing rather than taking the game. And then on different fronts as well, young Thomas Cadman, Steve Kaka out of the uh, medical uh, team will be stepping up into Elliot Millett's uh, shoes and, and running that on the day and a uh, young SNC coach who's, who's come in, uh, Dominic, he will be sort of taking Matt Fox's role so there'll be different faces that people won't be accustomed to in the dugout but it'll be certainly for the right reasons, we'll be going to win the game. Uh, the team you'll see is strong um, so it's, it's a game that hey, we did well in it last season getting to the final but we're very aware that we know how thin we are on the ground. We know the amount of games that the lads who have been churning them out week in, week out have been playing. So we've got to recognise them loads and we will be rotated massively for the Tuesday fixture, but there'll still be a significant amount of first team players in there. First year pros, reserve team players and a couple of trialists who we need to identify whether we're going to take them moving forward. So there's plenty for Alty fans uh, to look forward to uh, tomorrow night. Absolutely. As I said, you'll see the faces that people will probably want to see. The lads who haven't been playing, the, the young pros who have got everything to prove and they'll certainly want to stake a claim. Hey, some of them have been making the bench, Owen and, and Tom, so they'll really want to push on. Louis Williams has been out on loan at Chatterton. Unfortunately, Ewan mcgeady has got a knock at the moment or he would be involved. And then, as I said, there'll be a couple of trialists in there as well who've been in for the last couple of weeks. Um, if they can make themselves available, we're just going through that today, who, who will feature on the night. And you always see the Cheshire Senior Cup as an important uh, competition, and it's certainly important this year because we want more opportunities to do this type of thing later in the competition. No, absolutely, and that's why we were a lot stronger last year all the way through, um, because I was aware it was going to be a, a tough league campaign again, as it, as it always is, so I'm not saying it's not now, but you look at the league positions, were slightly different at certain points. So you want to make sure you're going deep into every competition. Uh, so it was a it was a cup that we 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 focused on. Could we go and win that one? Unfortunately, we fell at the final hurdle. We let ourselves down. But it's a competition that I certainly always go out. We'll always go to try to win. FA Cup uh, action on Saturday fourth uh, round qualifying is the stage that we join the uh, competition at. And we've drawn Oldham Athletic at home. What, what were your initial thoughts sir, when, uh, when, when that draw came out of the bag? Couldn't have been more of a difficult draw, could it? In terms of really local teams, Oldham a, a, an absolute goliath in this division. Obviously not where they want to be at the moment. Things are in transition changing. Um, so we've got to exploit that if we can. But listen, they're a massive club. When, when you speak about the FA Cup, every team wants that big gate on, don't they? So I'm sure Oldham will bring a big, big turnout with how it's been going for us in the league. I'm sure we'll turn out in our numbers as well. So I'm hoping for a really entertaining game, but a really big gate, one that should be, it should be the tie of the round in terms of, a, we're, we're banging form. Oldham are a, are, a, are a huge team who are finding themselves, who, are, who aren't far behind us on the form table, by the way. So it's going to be a real tough game. One that we'll have to be at our very best to, to go through and be in, be, in the, be in the round. Sorry, be in the hat for the next round. So it's, it's going to be a real tough day for us. And the FA Cup is, is always going to be a huge competition for Altrincham Football Club. We didn't quite make it into the 
first round uh, proper last season, having lost the replay at Gateshead. Uh, very important for the football club uh, to make progress this year. Yeah, every time a new player comes into the changing room, they're, they're made fully aware of what the FA Cup means to the football club. It's not something that you can just uh, say you've got a divine right to, to win or go through, but ultimately we'll be really focused on getting getting through to the next round. But listen, it doesn't get any harder, does it? Um, I know you could say a Chesterfield would be the hardest one, but for us in terms of geographical location, bragging rights, all that kind of stuff that comes with the locality of this type of fixture, um, it'll be a huge gate. It'll be a, it'll be a great occasion, I'm sure. So the lads will have to... They, they'll have to be on their A game. The game's all ticket, so potentially we're going to have a full house at the J Davidson Stadium on uh, Saturday. It should be quite an occasion. I hope so, and that's what all the players want to play in front of. You certainly want to manage them occasion. So we've had some really big ones, and I'm sure this won't be any different. And we can forget about the league for, for, for a couple of weeks. Dorking's our next uh, National uh, League uh, fixture. Is that something that you're quite pleased about, having had such a, a busy schedule in the last few weeks? No, you just want to keep bouncing into the games, don't you? Because uh, the form's been with you. Obviously, this can, this can lead to a little bit of a distraction with the Cheshire Senior Cup, the rotations that we feel we have to do for this, the FA Cup, which hey, there'll be certainly no rotations for that. Um, so hopefully it won't disrupt the, the league campaign. But I think it's come at a good time as well where I'm saying you keep wanting going into the games. Hey, we are threadbare. Every manager's bemoaning the same thing at the moment. I'm listening to all the interviews. Everybody's in the same boat. So maybe, maybe our lads, it, it could be a blessing in disguise for our lads to get a little bit of a rest on Tuesday to then go again on the Saturday. And finally, just reflecting on the, uh, the position in the league table after 10 games with one, two, drawn six and lost two. After 15 games, we've won seven, drawn six and lost two. That looks so much better. Yeah, it's something that we've not always been able to say in this division, isn't it? So it feels uh, feels nice to be able to, to reflect and, and look at them results. But ultimately, that's all in the past now. We need to look at the next game, which will be Tuesday, the Cheshire Senior Cup, which will be all focused on. Although I'm saying about the rotations, staffing, it's something where we'll all be there. We're all in, in it together. There'll be opportunities for everyone, staff and players alike, and everyone needs to step up to the plate. And then we'll go again on the Tuesday and we'll be making sure that we put in a really good performance to make sure that we're, we're in the round, in the next round, and then we're ready to go for our next league game.